All right, here we go. Question number 14 from our 1316 homework number one in my lab math. And the instructions say find the exact value of the expression. Notice it says do not use a calculator. We're going to completely ignore that. And we're going to use a calculator anyway. Okay, but first I do want to show you how to do that by hand. How do you do that manually? Well, let me write down exactly what they want here. It says to find sine 30 degrees. And then notice it says cosine 30 degrees. When you've got two trig functions slammed up next to each other like that, the indicated operation is multiplication. So really I need to find the sine of 30 degrees and the cosine of 30 degrees, and we need to multiply those together. Remember that in the unit circle, sine is y and cosine is x. And so what I'm interested in is I'm interested in the x and the y coordinates of the ordered pair at 30 degrees. And we can figure that out real quick by going to our unit circle. Okay, so here we go with red. This is 30 degrees. We can see that the x is square root of 3 over 2, and the y is a half. So we're going to do y is a half, x is square root of 3 over 2, and then we want to multiply those together. So to multiply fractions, you simply go straight across, and that's going to give us square root of 3 over 4 as our final answer. Now remember I said that we are going to use the calculator. What I want to do is I want to use the calculator to check my work. My calculator is in radian mode at the moment. In order to put this into the calculator, it needs to be in degree mode. So I'm going to go shift and set up. I'm going to change the angle unit to degrees. And now if you see up at the top, it's got a D up here at the top for degrees. And so now I can key this problem in just the way it looks. We're going to say sine of 30. Please don't forget to close your parenthesis there. Times cosine of 30. And what should we get? If we did the work correctly over here, we should get square root of 3 over 4. Bam! Verification. Now let's see if my lab math likes it. Square root of 3 over 4. Awesome. All right, so I hope all that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.